Yo, what up? Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of One Man Click TV. Today, man, we got a busy, busy day, but we're going to answer the age-old question. Uh, what would I tell my 18-year-old self? Or, you know, I got three main things I would tell them, but there's a lot more. And I got a couple homeboys with me, too, so you're going to get their perspective on it, too. But what would I tell myself, my 18-year-old self, if I could talk to him today? Plus, we got a content day, so, you know, what that means we're going to be vlogging. So, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in a But let's take a minute to admire the drip. Okay. And we got the pythons on deck, you know what I mean? Just to keep a little, you know what I'm saying, dickies. All right, about to roll up with the homeboy in the, in the pussy wagon, you know what I'm saying? He just got this, so he's got plastic all over the seats, but we're about to get, you know, get it going. Python. Woo! We just hit. We just went ahead and went ahead and hit a uh, certain uh, Asian spot for the for the Save the Flavor the series. Y'all probably see it soon. Just stay tuned. Anyways, uh, right now we're still in the cabin, out with the homeboys, out with the besties. We're gonna go out there and do our thing. We have catching up. We haven't caught up in a while. But the question still remains: If there's something I could tell my 18 year old self, what would it be? I don't know. It's, 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 it's a question that's, uh, you know, baffled me for a while, but I think I got a few. Since we are Lower Valley people, you know what I'm saying? We don't hardly come up here. And we don't really have one of these down in the Lower Valley. At least I don't think so. If we do, y'all let me know down in the comments below. All right, but let's check it out. The Tokyo Market. Got to re-up and get our fixings so we don't have to come up here very often. They take EBT. Let's check it out. Oh, every time I come here, I come on at least fifty dollars short. So much to choose from. But let's see what we end up finding today. There's a lot of stuff, and you're always hungry. Yo, check this out. <laughs> Asian pulleys, and they got the variety pack as well. Maybe. They even got little eggs, quail eggs. So much to choose from. Let's see what we end up getting. Ice cream. Okay, your boy stocked up for a little while, so let's see what, where the rest of the day takes us. Now, after thinking long and hard about what I would tell my 18 year old self, there's a lot of things I wish I would have known when I was younger that I wish somebody would have told me. But the one thing I, the one thing I could probably put above everything is, um, is to is to invest more as I was younger. Okay, because I knew the whole concept of money and saving to an extent, but I wish I would have invested more. You know, bought more property, more land. Uh, you know, and maybe invested in like apartment complex or duplex or something like that when I was younger. Because when I was younger, I was making hella dope, and I and I wish I would have invested more of it instead of you know going splurging like I did. And, you know, being young and dumb. You know what I'm saying? So that's one thing I wish I would have done. There's two more, but there's one. And then I'm, uh, you know, I'll tell you guys some more as we go along. But there's two more that you know you should probably know. Now, just so you guys don't get my point of view, I'm gonna I'm gonna share. I'm gonna, I'm out. Two of my best friends share their thoughts on what they would tell their 18 year old selves. You're not gonna really see them on camera. You're just gonna see, you're gonna hear them, okay? But we're gonna start off with my, my my boy Johnny, and then we're gonna go to my boy Bobby, okay? So, all right, Johnny, what would be one thing that you would tell your 18 year old self that you would tell them? Like, what would you tell them if you if you could if you could talk to him right now? Uh, to not be so afraid and to take more risks in life as far as like work and relationships and education and stuff. Do you, think, do you think that would have changed your life a lot more? Oh now? yeah, it would have set me up a lot sooner for the life I want to have, okay. definitely. I asked my boy Johnny, Bobby, what would, you, what would you tell your 18 year old self? Uh, me personally, I think I would tell my 18 year old self to start taking care of your health. You know, when you're 18, man, and you're in your early 20s, you can tolerate a lot. You know, your, your body can go through a lot more more harsh situations and 
you know, your eating habits, you, you can eat, you know, and you'll burn it off real quick, but you, you stay consistent like that, it's going to catch up to you in the long run. Your, your health isn't going to be as, uh, as great, you know what I mean? So if I can go back in time or talk to my 18 year old self, I'd say, you know what, start taking care of your health early on. I mean, yeah, it's, it's good to splurge a little bit every now and then, but you know, focusing on your health is it's going to allow you to, you know, be able to spend time with your family, spend time with your loved ones, be able to travel, be able to, you know, go out on adventures and, and have fun uh, and enjoy life, right, to the fullest, not being in the hospital or having to be on constant medication because you avoided taking care of yourself early on in your life and now you're worried about, you know, what health problems are, are going to be coming at 30 or 40. Big facts, big facts. That's a good one. Those, those two very, and I can say those same things apply to myself because if the, the, the type of the work that I was doing had me eating horribly. I was eating good, but it wasn't good for me. You know what I mean? So that that, that health ones are, you know, one that hits really hard for myself. You know what I'm saying? And then the taking risk, you know, I think our, our people in general have a have a uh, have, have a fear of taking risk in general. So we don't really get to, you know, reach that next level. But those are two very good points. We got a few more, so stay tuned throughout the video and we'll, we'll, we'll come up with a couple more because I know there's a few more for myself. So just stay tuned and we'll, we'll give you a couple more. Check this out. <laughs> Look at that, baby. Look at that. And my boys got these. These are deep fried Oreos with Nutella and powdered sugar. So these will be our orgasmic. I'll try one of these on the camera for you. All right, now that I've had a little snack in me, um, I thought about the other thing I would tell my 18 year old self. You know, something I wish I would have done a lot sooner in my life would have been read more books, because because of the books that I've read, it became it, it, it sped up my 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 thought process and and got me over my the fear of doing anything. You know, because as, as you guys may know, I'm Mr. DIY. I do a lot of the stuff for my content and my music by myself. That's because of books that I've read that help to re, re, rewire my brain and they help me think differently. I wish I would have read those books a lot sooner in life that I think that would have you know helped me out a lot and advanced me a lot more that's that's one thing that I would tell my 18 year old self is read more books and which you know books to read specifically which would be mainly on self-improvement and finances you know that's what I would tell my 18 year old self because now that I read them as, as I'm older I wish I would have done it sooner you know but that's another thing I would tell my 18 year old self all right, so we made it back to the crib. I'm gonna show y'all a few things, not a lot, because some of this is gonna be for the for the TikTok, you know what I mean, and YouTube later. But uh, I did give me some different kind of ramen. Um, I did give me some seaweed. Y'all ain't had seaweed with your with your rice and all that, your salmon. You're missing out. And then uh, of course I got all these ramens because these are what I use for when I'm in a rush and don't feel like cooking. I grab one of these. Meal's done. And to go with those, I also got me some, you know, some sausage here, some Chinese style sausage. This is really dope. If y'all see this, y'all see this, grab it, try it out. I promise you'll love it. And I got me a few other things. Like I said, I can't show y'all because it's going to go for TikTok. All right, so just stay tuned for all that. I did get this sweet thing, like I said, TikTok. And uh, I got me some kimchi as well. But anyways, let's head to the studio and we'll get to the last thing that I would tell my 18 year old self if I could talk to them. So the last thing. All right. So let's get to the studio. And we'll get to that. So we come across the last thing that I would that one of the last things I would tell my 18 year old self out of the three things that I would tell them. The last thing that I would tell them is start YouTube early. OK, I didn't start YouTube until like my mid 20s. You know what I mean? So I wish I would have started at 18 or even younger because the the back back when back when back when I was 18 when I was it was it, the the competition wasn't as fierce and the audience would grow a lot faster. And even now with music and everything else that I do, you know, it it grows the audience more and more. The more videos I do or the more content that I create. If I would have done it since I was 18, I would have been a lot further now, and I would have probably probably would have done a lot more stuff. I would have had a lot more better, vi a lot of dope videos because through from 18 to to now, I've been to a lot of places. 
I've eaten a lot of crazy stuff that either wasn't hasn't taken it. I didn't take a picture of it at the time because I wasn't into like Instagram or anything like that. And it's not documented on video or photos. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of people that I've met, a lot of foods, a lot of places that I've been, a lot of things that, I've, you know, that I wish I could have documented. It's mainly for the documentation as well as, you know, expanding the, the, the audience and all that. So I really would tell my 18 year old self, start YouTube early. Okay, start YouTube early and stay consistent with it because I traveled so many places and I, like I've seen so many things and I've seen a lot of crazy food and I've met a lot of people, a lot of interesting people. There's a lot of stories and uh, I've, I've done so much, but not, not a lot of it was documented like the way I would have liked for it to be documented, if that makes any sense. But that's the last thing I would tell my 18 year old self. Start YouTube, start YouTube, start it early and be consistent with it because it opens up so many doors and so, so much, you know what I mean? So that's the last, probably the last thing I would do, you know, but there's a lot of other stuff in between, man. Like, um, don't be scared to do things, you know what I mean? Don't be scared to do things. Uh, don't have that fear. Okay. Like I said, fear is the killer of a lot of, a lot of dreams. So don't be fearful. There's because I've missed out on a lot of opportunities because of the fear thing. You know what I mean? The scaredness of it. So that's another thing. But, you know, you tell me what you would tell your 18 year old self. You know, down in the comments below, let me know what you would tell your 18 year old self. If you could, you know, meet meet with him and talk to him and give him some advice. What would you tell your 18 year old self? Let me know down in the comments below. But I'm going to end it here. YouTube, I appreciate y'all for coming along with me. These are the things I would tell my 18 year old self.